everyone, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. It's still Vlogmas, and so we're still doing Christmas stuff. And so for this Christmas stuff, I'm going to be making eggnog ice cream. Now, if y'all didn't see the video where Ricky and I tried eggnog for the first time, definitely go check that out. It threw us for a little loop. We didn't know what to expect, but yeah, check that out. My hair, we're not talking about my hair, so let's not think about that. Let's talk about this ice cream. Let's think about it. I'm going to be using my Cuisine our ice cream maker. I'm so excited. And I'm excited because this is three ingredient ice cream. It's going to be so simple and so easy. So I'm going to tell y'all exactly what to do. So get your cup holder. Mm -hmm. You're going to need one cup of milk. So I'm going to do one cup of milk. And I'm going to pour that into my bowl. And then I need one cup of heavy cream. Oops. One cup of heavy cream. Okay. And then I'm going to do two cups of eggnog. So I'm using the vanilla spice flavored eggnog. I was like, this is probably going to be good. Like, I love a really good quality vanilla ice cream. I honestly do. And so, yeah, I'm going to do that. So, two cups of the eggnog. Pour that in there. And y'all, this is really about to be the simplest recipe I've probably ever made. I'm cooking with crust on it. Hold on, let me get a spoon. Because the next step is to stir it. We're just gonna stir it. You know what? I probably should have used the whisk, but that's okay. Because when I put it in my ice cream machine maker, it's gonna really like stir it up anyway. So now I'm going to go and I'm gonna get my ice cream bucket. Your Cuisine Art ice cream machine maker comes with this bucket. You have to keep it in a freezer to use it. So mine has been in the freezer since yesterday in preparation for making this ice cream for y'all. And you know it's ready when you shake it and you don't have no liquid. So mine is good and ready. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get my ice cream twirler. I'm going to put that in there. And then since this is already stirred up, I'm going to just pour it. ice cream machine like a so I'm going to take the top like so secure that you know I think there's another part that goes here but I don't know where it is so we're not gonna worry about it. Um and then I'm just gonna turn it on and so basically it's going to is it turning I'm gonna trust that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Basically, it's gonna do this for about 15 or 20 minutes, and then I wait, or does it say as little as 25 minutes? I'm gonna let it do this for 25 minutes, and then I'm gonna sit it in the freezer to let it really get harder, and then I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna show you guys, let you know what this situation is like, and yeah, I'm excited. We're having some guests over, and so, I can't wait for them to taste this eggnog, vanilla spice flavored ice cream. Okay, so I'll be back, you guys. All right, you guys. So I put my ice cream in the freezer for a little bit to let it like just get really solidy, so it's less like soft serve and more like solidy. So let's give it a try. Let's see what's gonna happen here. So the flavors are definitely coming through. Um, I don't know if I want to keep putting this in my mouth. I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's not. It tastes really icy, if that makes sense. So I can taste the eggnog, but it tastes very icy. It doesn't taste very creamy like ice cream. 
So I don't know what adjustments would need to be made to the recipe to make it more like creamy. If you know, put that in the description, or not in the description, in the comment section. If you know what would make this more creamy. Because if you like the eggnog, that flavor, then you would really like this ice cream if it was more creamy. That's really the only thing that needs to happen. It needs to be more creamy. Other than that, it's not bad. Not bad. But, don't forget to continue to join us for Vlogmas uh, that we have here on the DKUJ channel. And I can't wait to see you next time.